Yo guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are back with another video on SCR for another fan suggested route and today we are going to be doing quite a bit of a long journey today. It's actually two routes that we're going to be doing because today we're going to be driving the class 3311 on connect and we're going to be going from Benson to Leighton West. Now you may think, fetch, that's only 15 minutes because... When we get to Leighton West, we're going to turn around and then go to Lynn by the Sea, which is adding on an additional 22 minutes and nine stops. So we're going to be doing 18 stops in total, which is going to take quick maths over half an hour. So it's going to be a long route. We're going to start at Benton to go to Leighton West and then from Leighton West, go to Lynn by the Sea. We could do it reverse, go from late, go from Lynn by the Sea to Benton, but I think we'll do it Benton to Leighton West and then Leighton West to Lynn by the Sea. Hopefully we don't despawn whilst we do this so we can get everything done, you know, properly and, you know, we don't have to, you know, like respawn at depots if, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, if we get in, in you know, movement failure thing you know what i mean but let's go ahead and get our scheduled stops up as we go to leighton west plenty of opportunity for a thumbnail on this route so hopefully i do get one before we finish this journey I don't know if I'll make another one after this, <laughs> another video after this, or if I should wait because this is such a long journey. What is the next journey? I can tell you guys as well. It's Stepford Victoria to Lynn by the Sea. Oh God, no. <laughs> I will be waiting. <laughs> oh God. I mean, I suppose I could do it now, but... I prefer to just wait and do it a bit later on. That is going to be a long journey. I see optimistic. Hello. <laughs> right. How many cars do we have? Do we have five or four? I don't even know. I'm going to stop at three to four. I don't actually know. Do we have five? One, two, three. Okay, we do have four. Okay. Oh, that was lucky. I probably should have been listening to the um to the announcement. It is on max. I can't hear much of it. Is it on one? Oh, that that's probably why then. Oh God, no! The old death sound or the new one. I just call it old though because it's not old. I want the want the youth one back. I can change it. I just need to um to get the actual loose sound, you know, as it should be. I'll try and do that before. Uh... Well, I mean, by the time that you're seeing this video, I probably would have already changed it because obviously I record some of these videos in advance, so it's probably already changed. Welcome on board. This it probably changed for you in uh, yesterday's Roblox stream. We will be calling at Benton Bridge, Hampton Hargate, Upper Staplow, Anyhow, Newton, Rocket Parade, Leighton we are Road, on our way Leighton to Benton City, Bridge now. And Leighton West. The next station is Benton Bridge. It's up to 45 now. I've been having a thought about doing... We're not doing these videos differently, but sort of like an addition to these videos. Because if you don't know, I, you know, well, when I eventually get round to doing truck and career videos, because I haven't done those for yet on Euro Truck Simulator, um, I'd always just used to just talk about random stuff on those videos, we will shortly be or you know, like things like that. Bridge. I've been kind of thinking if I'm, if you know if I'm going to be doing these full routes without you know really any edits and just talking, what if I kind of do the same thing that I used to do on the trick and career videos, 
but on SCR. Now, I know that if I, if I did literally everything, that wouldn't leave me much to talk about on the trucking career videos, and most of the time those journeys then would be sped up. But what if I actually talked about some other stuff on these videos and then left kind of like the things that actually relate or like sort of, you know, connect with the trucking thing? Basically, if there's anything that's in, you know, like in terms of editing, um, trucking career videos primarily... That could be left for a trick and career video. But things like, I don't know, just like changes or, you know, like just weird stuff that I want to talk about. I could do it in these videos. I mean, if you do literally want to want me to talk about anything <laughs> in these videos, do let me know in the comments below. But I was kind of thinking, what if, you know, I did, I did something like that? I don't know. I do have one thing that I do want to talk about, though, if we are going to be moving to that change, and that is, is if you probably do or do not know, um, I do have a TikTok. Um, I have a TikTok page, um, linked in the description, obviously. And I used to, you know, use TikTok like you're supposed to, you know, posting, you know, memes and, you know, things like that. And, you know, just reacting to stuff. But recently, I figured that you could actually upload clips or like videos from your PC or laptop onto the website version of TikTok that will go to your profile. And if you do follow my TikTok, you may have been seeing that I've been posting some like gaming clips or like highlights or, you know, like a clip of some sort. Um, and that is what I'm doing. I'm basically going to be uploading some like gaming clips there. I did use to sort of like up upload gaming clips on to this channel. Um, if you may have seen, like I did like an SCR, um, are you good? And then I did like a one about on... F1, and then I think there was a few other ones. I'm kind of switching to putting all of those onto TikTok. If that, so, or if that makes sense. As I said, most of you probably know, um, if you, you know, follow my TikTok and watch it. You probably know that's what I've been doing. I'll still try and, you know, do some, like, other TikToks, like, when I feel like it, but I probably use TikTok as, like, uploading, like, funny clips and stuff, because obviously now with me on my gaming PC, I have the thing on the uh, Xbox Game Bar thing where it also records, or, like, you know, is recording in the background. So then if I wanted to capture like a highlight, I just had to press a button and then it would like capture the previous 30 seconds. So then if there was something that I did want to sort of like clip and upload, then I could just do that. And then, you know, TikTok could be the place where you'd see it. That's what I was thinking, but obviously... Do let me know. Well, don't do let me know because that's what I am doing. Um, so, yeah. If you do want to see some clips like that, then I recommend to check out the uh, to check out my TikTok page. Obviously, as I said, links will be in the description. Why can I see the train over there but with no track? It's a little bit weird. We will shortly be arriving at Upper Stapler. Please so that is, I guess, a sort of change that I'm doing. You know, any clips or stuff that I have, uh, I'll be uploading to, to my TikTok page. We do stop at Upper Stapler. Green lights ahead already. So that train's really getting on the move, which is good. We're not going to be stuck behind him. 
This is and I already have nothing else to talk train. about. <laughs> this train is for Leighton West. The next station is Water Newton. If this was a trick and career video, this would be when I would then, you know, go into a time lapse. And I was reading some, obviously, some comments, because obviously I'm taking some time, you know, going through the comments, because, you know, I wasn't on them uh, for quite some time during the heatwave. And it seems like you guys didn't really like the speed ups, because um, I was seeing a few um, comments saying, um, why are you doing these speed ups? Why go back to doing them fully? And I'm just like, okay, okay. <laughs> it, it, it was just a trial, you know, while we're in the heatwave. Don't kill me. Um, so I know that, you know, you guys wouldn't like speed ups for SCR, which I guess is fair enough. And I guess it does kind of, you know, ruin, I guess, sort of like the re, you know, sort of like the experience because, you know, everything's going really quick. So I can kind of get that. But I think for something like trucking, a speed up is you know, better because, you know, some journeys that you do on Euro Truck, especially if you're doing a long journey, can take somewhere from like, you know, two to three hours to do. And that's even in real time just to do, you know, a journey in Euro Truck. So I think, you know, speeding up Euro Truck journeys are better. We will shortly be arriving at Water Newton. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. And as you can kind of guess, I don't want to really talk about, you know, I don't really want to talk about pointless Captain things for two to three hours while I do, you know, a, uh, while I do a, um, a trucking journey. I'd rather just, you know, record it, relax, do the journey and then just speed it up afterwards. Or, you know, like speed it up afterwards, that's what I meant. Oh, did I say that? I didn't even know. Water Newton. This train is for Leighton West. So I kind of, you know, get the, you know, different games, you know, might work well with the speed up, might not work well with the speed up. Like something like Fortnite. Who would want to watch a sped up Fortnite video? I wouldn't. Bed Wars. Who would watch a sped up Bed Wars video? Again, I probably wouldn't. Maybe if there wasn't anything going on, maybe a little speed up here and there. But, you know, something like, you know, if you're in a battle... You're not going to want to, you know, speed that up, are you? You're going to want to leave that in full. I guess SCR is kind of like in the middle. Like if you're driving for like five minutes with nothing really going on, I guess you could speed that up. But for something like if you're on a stopper route, you know, you're always going to be stopping, starting, stopping, starting, stopping, starting. You're not really going to get the experience with that, are you? Rocket Parade. I was going to save this for a trick and career video but I'm guess if I'm I guess if we're talking about them in these videos then we may as well just talk about it now there's a, a new way that I've discovered how to do like really long journeys in Euro truck and still have it as a video because normally I would be wanting to do a route all in one so then when it came to editing I could just you know, I could put that clip in and then shorten it down to the amount I needed because the way I was doing it is, is inside Premiere Pro, Pro, there's a tool called this the rate stretch tool, which allowed me to the basically speed up a clip as quickly or as little road. as I wanted to. And because I had songs in it, I would basically click and drag the end of the actual trucking thing or the bit that I wanted to speed up just click and drag that and then move it down to where the song ended and then that would be on you know that would automatically speed the video up I love that tool but the thing is if I was using two clips I don't know how well that would then be and I'd have to try and alter the times you know individually and sometimes I could get it wrong sometimes I could get it right 
Stepford, Victoria. And I kind of want to, you know, I kind of want to have it so the speed up ends when I want it to. And then obviously if I'm talking again, then I can start that at the point in the song that I want it to. Or at the end of the song. Now, I've discovered a way how I can change that. Because when I was editing some previous SER videos, actually, funnily enough, um, ones that had face cam in, I record, or I record those videos twice the width, so it's like 3,200 something, or it's 90, it's, or it's, ah, oh, I keep forgetting the 2 to 5 car marker is there. Why have SER put the, I still don't get it. Why have SCR put a 2 to 5 car stop marker there? It really catches me out. This is I don't know why. Leighton Stepford Road. This train is for Leighton West. But as I was saying, I record face cam and Leighton gameplay Stepford. videos twice the width, but the same height. So when I put it into Premiere, and I, and I record them side by side. So I have my face cam on one side and then my gameplay on another. And so what that allows me to do is I basically have, or I can basically have two video tracks, both displaying my face cam and one displaying the gameplay. So basically I have a full quality face cam if I wanted to, and then I could shrink that down into a... You know, or, or I can shrink that down into a face cam, but I still have that full quality face cam, if that makes sense. But I can still record them at the same time. Because when I had to record face cam and gameplay videos previously, I had to record the game, or I had to record my face cam on a micro SD card and then transfer that folder onto my PC. With OBS, I can just record both of them at the same time as well, so they're automatically synced up. I don't have to do that. Which makes it really easy. But the way Premiere works is when I is when I wanted to like zoom in on my face cam or something like that. Um, when I zoomed it in, it would like move to the middle of the screen because something in there's something in Premiere Pro called an anchor point. And the anchor point is where the middle of the thing is. And because I set the resolution to be 1920 by 1080, um, and because my face cam and gameplay is twice the width, it goes to like where the split is between the face cam and the gameplay. Is this making sense? I don't know if it, I don't know if this is making sense. Basically, if I zoomed in on the picture, it would move to the left or right. It would like zoom in, but like move to the left. And then I'd have to move the X axis or to like move it or move the, the thing to the right again. Platform three terminates here. Whatever. This is the service from Leighton Stepford Road. They didn't really go that far then, did they? <laughs> now the way I over... I overcame that is what I did is I made something called a subsequence and the subsequence is basically as it says it's basically a sequence inside inside of a sequence so then I could put like a, that clip that I wanted to zoom in in a subsequence and then put the subsequence into the sequence and then I could edit that sequence to do the zooming in and that would just zoom it in as it normally should do and not do all of the weird moving and everything like that. And when I do speed ups on Euro Truck, I can cut all of the bits that I don't want or, or basically make the, put the journey into a subsequence and then cut out all of the things that I don't need and then if I do record it over multiple days, then I could cut off the ending of the last clip and then start a new one on like another day or when I return to doing it and then chop the end of that. So then the cut is kind of like invisible. Like the cut is still there, but you might not see it. Like if I pulled into a service station, stopped the recording and then left it a couple of days, came back, went into the truck, started, started the recording and then went off. So like the cut didn't really seem to be there. But actually, in reality, it'll be on two different days. We will and then I put that sequence as the journey and then just speed that up. Please mind the gap 
between the train I make the no bus. sense at all do I <laughs> this train terminates here. if if you know editing then you'll probably get what I meant but if you don't well done trying to figure out all of that out and you can't really do something like that on SCR because you have to sit down and do the SCR journey as it is you know there's no pulling over to a branch and stopping there for two days is there you have to do the SCR journey in one it's not like um you know euro truck where you can pull over and then just do it on a on a, on a different day Anyway, we are here at Leighton West, ready to turn around and do RO, I think it's RO42 is the route code. Towards Lynn by the sea. We've already been recording for a while. <laughs> and we're going to add another 22 minutes onto that. We're, you know, six minutes delayed. All change, please. Thank you for traveling with us today. I'm not terminating here, mate. I'm going to be turning around. So we need to change route and do RO42, which is still in by the sea. The train now standing at so we click drive, and he's going to be like thinking, wait, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I'm going back, mate. So we're going to Lynn by the sea. There's less stops, but actually, it, it's, you know, the thing says it takes longer. Millcastle. I guess it's because we've got a longer Stile, distance. North Shore and Lynn by the Sea. This or maybe it was... Oh, it's because I was looking at the depot one as well. Oh, so it was like a... It was an illusion thinking that I was... You know, I was looking at more stops when in reality I wasn't. Right, up to 15 we go. And off to Lynn by the Sea. I think the reason why they asked me to do this route, even though I just looked at the scheduled Welcome stops and it wasn't, is so I did all of the Lynn stops the between sea. Lynn and be Benton. But I don't Benton. think it did because Famous. this West doesn't stop at Millcastle Racecourse, Millcastle. which I West which Wyvern. I've just seen. Starry Lock, North Shore. Well, I probably have got the Lynn wrong the route code. Maybe there is one that stops at Millcastle Racecourse and I didn't see it. We can go to 30 now. We've been unlocked to go 15 mile an hour extra from 15 mile an hour. Ironic. It takes four minutes to go from North Shore to Lynn. Is that true? I don't think that is. But on average, it's about, I think it's like three minutes per stop. Another 45 mile an hour extra. The 45 now. Turning right. I get what those dot things mean now. On top of the signal. I didn't know what they were. What I mean, I, I had a guess. I, I, I thought it was to do something with, you know, like switches and points like that. But I didn't exactly know, like, what it fully meant. But I get what it means now. If the if the dots on the top line up, you're going that way. It'll it'll point in a direction of you know like a switch. So like, see, we're, we're going to be going to the left soon. We're, we're going to be going onto the left track because on the signal there was. The dots going to the left, so 
It means we'll be going to the left. However, if those dots weren't lit up, we'll be going to platform two. So at least I know what they what they mean now. It actually means that I should actually be able to. Well, I mean, if I get down to, you know, stopping my train in the correct location, <laughs> it should hopefully make uh, make me able to maybe judge my braking position a bit long, you know, a bit more. Because, you know, if if I was going like round a bend, I could probably brake a bit later. Or, you know, start slowing the train down a bit later than I would do if the train was just going straight into the station. For example. I can't stop normally anyway, so I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Off to Faymir now. Zero point seven three miles with five minutes delayed already. I think that got carried over from when we terminated at Leighton West. It's 110 now. Oh, never mind. It was already up to a uh, 125, wasn't it? So, you see, we're going to be taking this left branch. Told you. Yeah, that's what the things on the top of the signals mean. So, thank you to whoever um, said it because I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have known. Between the train and the platform. by the sea. Out. Maybe if I played the game a bit more and actually paid attention to them, then I probably would have known what they meant. North Shore and Lynn by the Sea. This train is yeah. Did I ever shoot that? Oh, I don't know. It's weird because this platform's curved, so it's like an it's like an illusion. That that would seem more closer to the train, but it's because we're curved. The next station is Westercoast. All right, always in the guard buzzer. And off we go to Wester Coast. Welcome on board this Stepford Connect service to Lynn by the Sea. The next station is Wester Coast. I still remember when we uh, walked to all 62 stations or 63 if we're Going off the um, the old tram link stop. You guys were very surprised about this and thought that I was a hacker, but we managed to walk on this West Coast Bridge track, like on the actual tracks. You, you know, you could actually jump off and actually walk on the tracks. It's quite simple, really. Be arriving at Coast. Yeah, although you do need you do kind of need to get just a few things right and then you should be fine i remember optimistic was very doubting <laughs> when um when i told him i could actually walk on tracks oh overshot it ever so slightly i remember when you didn't even need to do what i did and you could still walk on the tracks at Wester Coast. This is it was very like, coast. it was in like an older version. You could Lynn walk on the tracks, but it was like very sketchy. Next station is Mill like it was still very uncertain, but you could do it. I might get the thumbnail at West Wyvern, maybe. Either there or North Shore, I'm thinking. Or 
Also, I'm still uh, undergoing, like, um, trying to remove some, like, duplicate, you know, like, well, not, well, not really duplicate, but, like, removing the same route that someone else may have suggested with, like, with, like, a train. It'll be, so, basically, it'll be the first person to request that route with a train. I'll do that one, but then if someone else requests the same route with a different train, I'll probably just skip that one, just be, you know, purely because of how many routes I've got. Because I think there's there's probably 50 routes that are just duplicate, you know, um, you know, they're just duplicate um, routes. So if I cannot, you know, get those removed, then hopefully I should be able to, um, you know, then, then, then get to, you know, like actually doing some journeys pretty quickly. Like I'm starting to do that now as well, like it. Because I only, I, I probably take down probably about ten, re, like ten requests a day. Um, and obviously, if I, you know, check if I've got that route before, then I probably will just like skip it. Because I get quite a, you know, quite a few requests per day for routes, and even if I'm getting like you know ten routes a day. That's still so many routes, but I'm trying to, you know, like look and see if there's like any like duplicate routes and I'll see if I can ask uh, Optimistic to try and spot any you know like duplicates and it's another reason why you know if you do suggest a route if you could uh, include the route code Welcome on board. so I could check that with other routes that I've already got to see rather than you know looking at the first and last stop I can just go through and look at the route code and, you know, just look for any duplicates. And plus, say if it's, you know, someone like Lynn by the Sea to, like, Stepford Central, but it's like a... It's like not the 21 stop route one, it's like a different one. Then, um... Yeah. If you include the root code, then I know that that one will be a different type of that route. If someone does, however, suggest... Um, like, say if someone suggests me to do, I don't know, Beachley to Whitefield. But then someone else requests for me to do that route with a different train, but says, you know, like, take for example, if we have to do, you know, where we have to drop down the quality in FPS every time we get a um, AWS warning. Say so if they did it for that, if I already recorded the we first video, then I'd put it down again. Please but if I didn't record that video, then I would add on the doing it every time the AWS drops to the first one, if that makes sense. Just to try and speed up these, because I know that there's so many requests to get through, guys, and honestly, I can just only apologize for the lengthy delay. But literally, right now I'm looking on my spreadsheet. After this one, if I go through all of these, there's like an additional... 30 days and this is not even all of them that's not even all of the stations or all of the routes i probably got like an like a an additional 90 on a notepad that i still need to add down there's a lot of routes guys and it's going to take me a while to get through them so i i do apologize but between this one and the next this one, I'm going to see if I can try and remove any, like, coaches. duplicate, you know, like, routes. First class is located at the rear of the train. Um, as I said, guys, you know, the spreadsheet that I've made is open to you guys. You can check out all of the upcoming routes in the description below. Um, 
a few th you know a few sections do say NA that's just because I have no idea so like root codes I don't know all the root codes in this game guys so I didn't do that uh, who suggested it because they didn't say that they wanted to shout out if you do want to shout out when I do your route do let me know as well and I'll put that down and it also have an additional notes thing um, which you know I can you know which I can just double check if I needed it to do any of the things and I might add like another column after that saying like progress so like green would be it's a, it's like ready to upload orange might be in process like either you know if it'll be recording um editing rendering or something like that and then red obviously meaning haven't done it yet or haven't started it at least we will shortly be arriving at starry lock oh starry lock's coming up between the train and the platform I'm still going to stop in time. Thankfully, Starry Lock is a bit of a bigger platform than I anticipated. It's not like Famer, where sometimes if I forget to start breaking for Famer, I will most likely skip it. Thankfully, Starry Lock is a bit longer than I actually thought, so plenty of time to slow this down. Train is for Lynn by the Sea. The next station is. North Shore. I think I entered the station going probably like 75. Not as quick breaks as an F1 car, but... Maybe if we drive the, you know, maybe if we drive the F1 train, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I find it weird how the F1 train is the slowest train. <laughs> when F1 cars are the quickest cars on Earth. Or... Oh close to it maybe there's some like supercars out there or like drag cars that you know can go quicker but you know what i meant like some of the quickest cars Welcome you know on earth the connect service to Lynn by the sea. however the f1 train the is the slowest train <laughs> north shore At least I guess it, you know, it does mean that it does stop pretty quickly then, I guess. We will shortly be Down to 50. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Entering North Shore. I didn't get the thumbnail at West Wyvern, did I? Oh well, better do it North Shore. I saw a few passengers waiting at the start, so that's uh We should hopefully have some passengers. Right, better get a thumbnail before I forget. I think I've got a picture of them all running to the four you know, all running to the front coach. This train is for Lynn by the Sea. Yeah, I do apologise if the thumbnails don't really look that good. Again. I don't really have, like, a proper way of doing, you know, like, really good thumbnails. I'm not that experienced with Photoshop, so. Yeah. They're going to make my uh, signal turn red, aren't they? Or yellow, actually. It'll turn it yellow. Yep, told you. Right, hopefully by the time we pull out and get to that station, or we'll get to that next signal, it should be changed, unless Welcome they're literally going five mile an hour. Okay, it has turned yellow, so hopefully they are going over there. I'm probably just going to go 45 all the way to Lynn. I know it's 50 and I think it speeds up, but if there's a train in front, then... I mean, you're supposed to go past, you know, yellow signals at 45 anyway. So hopefully if we just trail behind, then we shouldn't actually have to fully stop. However, okay, never mind. 
Yeah, if we just travel at a steady 45, then hopefully we should be able to just keep cruising past these signals. Plus, I think they're going onto a different piece of track as well. And I think we go onto it. No, wait, no, because they're on connect. Why did I even think that? Okay, we're on double ambers now, but the speed limit is 45, so we can't really go quicker than what we are going. So I think we'll just keep it at a, at a steady 45. Or like a train driver finishing a route and going into going into London King's Cross. <laughs> well, I mean, that's practically, you know, Lynn by the Sea. It's based off King's Cross. If only they could add in the Emirates station on the left. Like, you know, Stafford UFC. Add in the station, call it the Emirates. We will shortly be arriving at Home of Arsenal, by the sea. obviously. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Stafford UFC's Wembley. Stafford now they need the Emirates. <laughs> All change, please. It won't be built to scale in size, but <laughs> you get what I mean. Someone's playing the piano. Yeah, I find it weird. I've never actually watched a game at the Emirates. I watched a game at Wembley, but I've never been to like another like Premier League like thing. I've looked around the Emirates. Like you know, I've, I've got I've gone into the station. I've gone to the VIP area. I went to the um, you know, I went to the changing rooms. I went, you know, well, send me onto the pitch. I went to the dugouts at least, but I haven't actually watched a game there because I went for like an open day thing. Well, I guess open, you know, like thing where you look around. Look, oh, it's fun. It turned out awesome. But yeah, I've never actually watched like a proper game there, and obviously I've watched the. <laughs> you can see them all there as well. Um, and obviously I watch games at my local ground. But anyway, we have now finished this mammoth journey. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. That would be awesome. And thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.